I'm a home hand. <laughs> Just going there trying to make a play, triggering on the quarterback on the scramble. The whole time I was running over there, you know, obviously I'm seeing the bad, you know, poor ball security. So I'm thinking, like, as soon as I get close enough, just try to hammer it out. And honestly, it's something I work on weekly, working on weekly. And I finally got an opportunity to hammer the ball out. Uh, so just great to make a play for the team. Uh, just a great win. It's been a long time since that offense was held to three points. So for you guys defensively, you know, what does that say? How proud are you of being able to accomplish what you did today? It feels great. Honestly, it feels great. Probably since I've been here, the most complete win that we've had from start to finish. Uh, offense, defense, special team, just clicking on all cylinders. Um, it's one of those things, man. You know, it doesn't really matter what you do previous weeks and stuff like that. You know, every single week you got to come out here and bring it, and you got to prove it every single week. So, uh, I mean, obviously we know how explosive that offense is. So to hold them to only three points, got to give a lot of credit to the defensive line. I mean, those guys are flying around, making plays, affecting the quarterback, forcing them into some mistakes and stuff like that. So. Just hats off to my defense. How much fun is, I guess, Kevin, when you guys are sacking the quarterback, getting turnovers, and how, what, what was the energy like out there? It, it's incredible. I mean, if when I'm back there playing deep and I'm watching, you know, those games and watching Danico and Harold and Jeff and all those boys make plays, it, it's a great feeling. Uh, it's the type of stuff that you love to watch. I mean, obviously, knowing the, the you know, kind of the lack of prep, pass rush that we had last year uh, to see those guys go hunting and just hunting. I mean, it's honestly, it's a great feeling. Kevin, have you heard from the pass rush? Obviously, the coverage worked out well. Too. What, what was the plan and what was working so well then when he did have time to throw? If we just understood that we had to come in the game and everything starts with 15. We had to find a way to affect the quarterback, mixing the disguise coverages. Uh, like you said, getting getting pressure on him, making force him to make some mistakes and not giving up the big play. I mean, they obviously got a couple of screens, a couple, of, you know, gadget trick plays to make some plays, but we didn't give up nothing big over the top of our heads, and that was one of the biggest keys. And just being physical, you know, I think that's one thing that's not really talked about. You know, when we win games, you know, people try to find all type of reasons why we're not going to win the next game or all that type of stuff, but they don't never talk about how physical we are as a team. Our offense, obviously, with Derek, they're going to be physical. And it may not be pretty. I think I've seen a stat last week that said um, since Ray was been here, we had, like, the most come-behind wins in the fourth quarter. That's because of the physicality and the stuff, the way we play the game. It not, might not be pretty at first, but towards the end of the game, that stuff wears on teams. So, uh, like I said, great to have a win today. Kevin, two back-to-back -back wins uh, against two of the best teams in the AFC, you know, in the, in the entire league. Um, just where, where is the confidence of not only this defense, but this team at this point after stringing together two really big, big wins? Honestly, our confidence is always high. There's not a team in this league that we don't feel like we can beat any given Sunday. Um, power rankings, all that stuff, it really doesn't matter in this league. Uh, if you don't come out here and you don't perform on Sunday, you're going to get your behinds whooped. Uh, but obviously, you know, we know the explosive team and how great Kansas City is. But at the end of the day, we felt like we can go out here and get a win. And that's just the bottom line. We don't really look at, you know, who's the best team here and there. They're not handing out Lombardi trophies in the middle of the season. So we're not going to get too caught up in this win either. You know, we're going to enjoy us tonight and uh, get ready for a division match against the Colts on the road. Such a good defensive performance today, and even though it came in mop-up time, the third turnover. Was that important to you guys to hold them without a touchdown? Absolutely it was. I was on the sideline the whole time, like, don't let them score. Um, I was talking about that late in the third quarter uh, when we, you know, gave up a field goal. I was saying we cannot give up no more points because, um, like I said, it's not about just – it is about getting Ws, don't get me wrong. But as a defense, you know, no matter what the score is, if they get three points, we're like, okay, we're not letting them score again. We want to dominate people, and that's the kind of mentality and the standard that we need to have. And so we put it on tape, so now we got to prove it every single week. Do you think it's even more impressive, Kevin, that, you know, I think it was like probably four of the top seven DBs were out today with injury and, and still, you know, passing attack like KC, you guys shut it down? Yeah, I've talked about the resiliency of this team and just we talk about it even in the locker room, in the meetings, that if you're up and you got a jersey on, you got shoulder pads on, and you play in the game, you're going to be treated like a starter. We got a guard to execute. So, I mean, you got a guy like Maven who just got signed as we play meaningful snaps. I mean, got, nobody panics on the sideline. They make a play. Hey, we're going to regroup, calm down, keep our composure, and keep playing ball. So, hats off to those guys. Hats off to the entire defense and the entire team because I mean, this was this is a true a team win. Truly, Kevin, the, the cameras got you before the game saying. We're not trying to prove people wrong today. We're trying to prove ourselves right. What do you mean by that? I mean, you see it week in and week out. I don't think there's a game that we're usually not an underdog in, especially when we're talking about top teams. Uh, since I've been here, I haven't had a losing season since I've been in this league. So we're a winning football team. And, you know, things might not be pretty. We might be 9-7 and seven and all those stuff like that. But, you know, we feel like we can beat any team in this league. And we're not trying to prove, you know, not, no disrespect to media, the, the world, anybody around that, 
you know, we're the best team. We're not trying to prove anybody wrong. We're trying to prove ourselves right because we know who we are in this building. We know we got uh, the resiliency, just the confidence that we play every single game with. And that's what I told the guys at the end of the game. We're just going to keep handling our business. We're not going to get caught up in this win, you know, beating two great teams. And now we think, you know, think, you know smelling ourselves a little bit. We're not getting caught up in that. We're just going to keep handling our business. Ken has mentioned that the offense has been growing and that maybe something clicked today. I'm curious if that, you got any sense of that in practice of, of their growth. You know, I, I think, you know, as the year – and as the year goes on and you play against different teams, you know, game plans are different, you know, matchups and stuff like that. But I would just say it was great to see those guys start super fast. And I know that's something that they talked about earlier in the week, that we had to start fast, in, you know, uh, early in games. So, honestly, just being on the sideline, watching those guys keep running the clock. And, I mean, I think before that last drive, the time of possession was really, you know, favored our way. So being on the sideline, just chilling, keeping 15 off the field, is a great feeling as a defense. You know, Kevin, when you talk about, you know, week-to-week league, um, how much does a game like the Jets help instill that focus in this club, losing a game like that? Yeah, because, you know, like I said, man, if you go out there and you don't play well, you know, you're not going to win. And I think when we watched that film, we understood as a defense that, hey, if we don't give up the big plays that we gave up to Zach Wilson, you know, the big plays, Corey Davis and stuff like that, we can be a dominant defense. And so I think when you're looking at this game, we're going to watch the film as well. But we talk about the keys to victory, you know, affecting the quarterback and being physical and not giving up big plays. If we can do that, which we put on film, we can do that week in and week out. We can beat anybody. So I think, it's, like I said, it's a week-to-week thing. But when you put st- stuff on film, you know, it proves that, hey, if we do this, we can win ball games. If we do this, we'll lose ball games. So that's how we'll take this film. Was that one really a wake-up call? I mean, I wouldn't call it a wake-up call. You know, it's just you get your behinds whooped. <laughs> and I, I said at the end of the game, we was frustrated because we, did, we got our behinds whooped. We didn't win the game. We gave a big play. So... I just feel like as a defense, we don't give a big plays. There's nobody that can, you know, really draw the ball on us, you know. And if they do, force a field goal.